In this video, we will review how to configure worksheets and workbooks to print or save. To set a print area, select the cells, click the Page Layout tab, click Print Area in the Page Setup group, and then click on Set Print Area. And you can see the border around the print area. To clear it, return to Page Layout, Print Area, and then Clear print area. To configure a workbook to print, click the File tab, click Print, and then review all of the available settings. You can select a printer, you can print the active sheets or the entire workbook or just a selection on one of the sheets. You can print one-sided or on both sides if your printer is capable. You can collate the copies, you can change the orientation, you can change the paper size, you can change the margins, and you can also change the scaling. If you click here, and you've got some predefined options, or you can customize the options by clicking here. And then you can further adjust the page setup. Then you would click Print. To print individual worksheets, you need to select the sheets. By default, only one sheet is selected. If you need to print more than one sheet, hold down the control key and select additional sheets. Return to the file tab, click print, and usually print active sheets is chosen by default. If it's not, you can click on that and then select it and then you would click print and you can see here that here's the first sheet and then there's the third sheet that we selected for printing. To save a workbook in an alternate file format click on the file tab, click export, if you want to create a PDF file, choose the top option and then click on Create PDF or XPS. To save in other file formats, click on Change File Type, select a type, or select Save as another type and then click on Save As. Choose the type of file that you wish to save it as and then click Save. To maintain, excuse me, to maintain backward compatibility, click the File tab, click on Export, click Change File Type, and then click on Excel 97 to 2003 Workbook. Scroll down, click on Save As, select a location, and then click Save. To save a file to a remote location, click on File, click Save As, choose the remote location. On this particular computer, our only option is the SkyDrive. Select a recent folder or browse. Select a folder. Enter the file name and click Save. Now we'll discuss my interpretation of repeating headers and footers. To me it would make more sense if it said repeating maybe rows and columns. But um, let's go to the Page Layout tab. Click the dialog box launcher button on the page setup group. Click the header and footer tab. Headers and footers repeat by default. That's what they're designed for. So, like I said, I think it would have made more sense if it said repeating rows and columns. But for your headers and footers, let's take a look at different odd and even pages. Uh, that would f allow you to further customize a header or footer. And then when you click on the button, you can see that you get an odd page tab and an even page tab so that you can set up custom 
options for both of those. Click the Sheet tab and take a look at the rows to repeat at the top and the columns to repeat at the left. Um, an example where you might use rows at the top, if you had a long list of addresses and you wanted the headings like name, address, city, state, zip code, so on and so forth, if you wanted those to repeat at the top so that you could easily identify each column. An example where you might repeat columns to the left would be like if you had a grade book and you've got the list of student names on the left, but the columns for the grades, you know, span over more than one sheet. Then you could repeat those names at the left so that you can easily identify who the grades belong to. When finished, click OK. And this concludes the review for configuring worksheets and workbooks to print or save.